How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. G'day guys, welcome back to the Olufemi channel. My name is Nick. Today we're going to look at how to insert this dinosaur into a scene from Shang-Chi. Why? Because I can, of course! In fact, you can use this technique to pretty much insert any character to any movie, including yourself using these steps. Now, I have a compositing masterclass coming later on the channel where I go into more advanced techniques and really nifty ways to composite people into your scene, but this one's pretty fun too, so I hope you guys enjoy. And this episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Envato Elements. More on that later in the episode. Now, the first step was to camera track the shot. Right click on the footage, go to track, and then select camera track, and just let After Effects do its magic. Wait a couple of seconds and bam, you've got track points, baby. Now, quick tip, if you lose your track markers, you can always highlight the effect and they'll come back. Now, we're gonna pick a place to track to. Now, the side of this vending machine should do the trick. We're gonna select three points, right click, and select create camera and null. Now, let's bring in our green screen footage. I got this cool dinosaur from Envato Elements and this should totally do the trick. Okay, let's use key light and key this bad boy out. Perfect, pretty easy. Now let's parent this footage to the null we just created. Make sure you turn the 3D layer on and then while holding shift, pick with the footage to the null. Now rescale the dinosaur so his feet are just touching the bottom of the vending machine. Reason being is because the tracking point we just picked is flush with the vending machine. Now just to make our lives easier, we're going to move the null of the dinosaur to where the feet meet the ground. Now grab the pan behind tool or press Y and let's grab the green part of the 3D widget and slide it on down till the widget is in line with the feet. Now, because we know the dinosaur is lined up with the floor, we can grab the Z gizmo or the Z gizmo and slide it in Z space and move it towards the camera. Now to color correct, grab the curves effect and drag it on. We'll do a general curves adjustment to get it in the ballpark. Now, for the fine tuning, we're going to jump into the red channel by clicking here and adjust the red curves till the black and white image look like they belong in the same space together. Now let's do the same with the green and the blue channels. And like magic, they match. Now, let's add a shadow to the floor. We'll create a new solid, let's make it black, Turn the 3D layer on, shift parent to the null, bring the solid down so the bottom edge of the solid is touching the floor at the bottom of the vending machine. Now let's grab the pan behind tool and move the anchor point so that it's the very bottom edge of the solid. Rotate the solid on the x-axis 90 degrees. And then we're gonna bring the solid behind the dinosaur layer. Using the green gizmo, drag the black solid across the floor till it's under the feet of the dinosaur. Now grab the circle mask tool and draw a mask inside the solid. Press F to bring up the feather properties on the mask we just created and we'll feather it to around 400. Now if you can see the edges of the solid or you can see the uh, feather being clipped, twirl down the expansion of the mask and dial it back. Now we just need to keyframe the position of the shadow to match the movement of the dinosaur. We only need a few keyframes since the shadow can only be really seen in these last few frames. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break to hear from our sponsor, and that is Invato Elements. Ever been stuck trying to fill holes in your edit with a super vague client brief? Well, when you subscribe to Envato Elements, you will get unlimited downloads to over a million awesome digital assets, just like in today's tutorial. And today, we're giving you this sick deal where if you subscribe to the annual plan, you will get a whopping 50% off your subscription, which when you do the maths, works out to be about $16.50 a month. That is way cheaper than buying a single piece of stock footage. So what are you waiting for? Click that link and start supercharging your videos today. Now, we need to mask out this foreground element where this man is being chucked against the mirror. Now, we're gonna duplicate this bottom layer and drag it to the top, and then using the pen tool, with the Roto Bezier turned on, we're going to rotoscope a few frames. Now set a keyframe for the mask and we're going to move forward where the shot has finally moved past our object and we're going to set another keyframe. 
And let's go back a little bit further just to set a few more keyframes to make sure that we really cover everything. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be too accurate, just enough to sell the shot. And since there's a lot of motion blur on this foreground element, we're going to feather the mask quite a bit. Around 100 should be good. There you go, super quick and easy. Now to add black bars to the top and bottom of the shot to cover up the mess. Create a black solid, bring it to the top. Grab the rectangle tool and draw a mask until it covers the whole center frame. Then press M to bring up the mask properties and select invert. And bam, you have now inserted your own character into a movie. And what's cooler is you can film yourself against a green screen and put yourself into your fave movies. Pretty fun, huh? All right, guys, thanks for watching the tutorial. And if you want to check me out, you can go to NickBenQ underscore motion on Instagram or just check us out on the YouTube channel. And there are tons of other really wicked tutorials here. One from Herman, one from Dave, one from Quinn, one from Josh. There are so many here. I'm sure there'll be like a little thingy at the end of this uh, video to show you some videos that you can go and watch yourself. But anyway, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. <laughs>